Well, hey guys, welcome to another Church Lou tutorial. We are talking all things widgets. We have covered every widget in the basic section. Now we've jumped down to media. We just hit gallery and sliders. Now we're into social media. The social media widget is helpful for having people follow you and uh, all of those good things. So let's jump down to the footer, which is where we have them in this Asher design. Uh, so if we click on social media, you see you can edit the styling of them. We can um, edit the different networks that we're using, choose different icons. So we can use social media icons in a couple ways. One, to share this page. The other is to go to this page. So go to our page. We want people to go to our page uh, whenever they're on our church's website. We don't necessarily want them to share our page that way. Uh, we want them to visit us, like us, follow us, um, follow us on Instagram and those types of things. So that's what we'll use it for. Let's delete it and we'll start over. So we'll go over here to the widgets, add a widget, go to social media, bring it over here. You see our blue box tells us, our blue line tells us where it's gonna drop, so let's drop it. So by default, they are the charcoal color and centered. So we could do a couple things right off the bat. Let's left align that, that way it's lined up with everything else here in this section. Let's go back to edit it. We don't want them to share the page, we want them to go to the page. So let's click go to page. So right now, by default, I have Facebook and Twitter. So let's add another one, let's add the plus sign. Now let's change our icon. Let's search for Instagram, Insta, there you go. You can type in your Instagram URL, it's the full URL, so you'll wanna navigate to Instagram.com and your church, grab your URL and paste it here. So it's HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Instagram.com slash whatever your church is, ours is real church today. Um, you can add your Twitter if you've got one. Please tell me you're not necessarily using Twitter. Um, I don't think a lot of people are there uh, anymore. They're moving to Facebook and Instagram. So Facebook and Instagram is kind of where it's at. Um, if you have a Twitter, cool, go ahead and use it. Add your correct Facebook URL to here. You'll know where to find that, facebook.com, navigate to your church, highlight that, copy it, come over here and paste it. Okay, done. So now it's just ugly. We just need to style it. So let's click on our styling, which will allow us to change the button size if we wanted to make them larger, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then the radius, so we can make them circles. Hard to see, let's go ahead and change the color. Let's change the background color to orange. And our hover color to this darker orange that we selected. And our icons themselves will be white. So you can make them black or orange or any color. You could, any color in the rainbow here. Make them, but that's ugly. You want to stick with your branding. Let's make them white. Nothing outside of your branding. Um, I like the buttons being round. You don't have to keep them that way. You can make them square. Whatever you like. We'll keep them round. You can align them center, left, right. That's pretty much it. Let's save the change. Let's preview it. Here they are. Instagram, it opens for you. Um, Facebook's gonna open, Twitter. That's how you do social media icons. If you wanted to do um, the follow, and, or uh, share the page, that is. I'll just drop it in here real quick and show you. It's the same kind of action, let's deselect these. So these are the available networks to share on. You can add other URLs, um, which is a little bit of an advanced, advanced feature. So you just have to kind of dig around on how to do that for your specific network if it's not listed here already. You can't share to Instagram anyway from a website. So the default ones are Facebook. You'd share to uh, Twitter really is the other one. Um, so let's do Facebook. And then um, when someone clicks that button, they will be able to share. Let's just left align it and style it super quick here so you can just see it at least. So let's save it, preview it, that's ugly. We're not gonna keep that. But if you click it, your little Facebook thing will come up where you can log in and uh, share the page. So that's sharing. So if you do have a post or something that you're wanting people to share, maybe it is a page that you created for this VBS gallery, you want people to share that with their friends, you could put you know, a new block um, here could say uh, let's do an empty block and then grab your social media thing and grab that add your networks for sharing 
let's style that real quick. You can make the buttons bigger, um, make them round if you wanted to, and then add some text up here that said, hey, click a button below to share with your friends. And um, so you could uh, share this page with, with people that you like and you wanna, want them to see it. Um, anyway, so that's social media uh, widget. I hope that was helpful. If it was not and you still have questions, simply click the need some help button. Shoot us an email. If we're available for chat, a box will appear here that says chat with us now, or you can search for answers here as well. So look forward to seeing you in the next video.